Here we are on Hollywood Boulevard and there is Michael Jackson. Whoa! All these people in different suits. And, and there's Darth Vader. Pretty impressive. Oh, all sorts of celebrities. Oh, there's a guy in a Kirk Cameron suit. Now that, that's a bit, that's a bit cheap. It's a cheap suit. Patrick, you a Christian? Yes. Okay. Do you watch R-rated movies? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. How do you feel about blasphemy in them? I don't know, really. I... Does it worry you? I guess. What are you talking about? Just being hypocritical? Well, using God's name as a cuss word in movies, does oh, it concern like you? and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah, I don't like that at all. So you do watch it? Yeah, I watch it. Would you go to a movie where your mother's name was used as a cuss word? No. You'd be offended. Yes. Would you go to a movie where God's name is used as a cuss word? That's, yeah, oh man, you, yeah, no, I know what you're saying now. <laughs> no. So if you could be warned that there was blasphemy in a movie, would you avoid that movie? I guess I would have to find out what someone, um, what their definition of blasphemy is. I'm using God's name as a cuss word. And I probably would still go. What's that? I probably would still go if it was the language. If someone used God's name in vain, because I, not that it's a good reason, but you know, you hear it every day and you kind of, you know, overlook that, I guess, depending on the film. Would you go to a movie that used your mother's name as a cuss word? No, probably not. Would you go to a movie that uses God's name as a cuss word? I probably shouldn't. Marie, do you think Hollywood is anti-God? No. Why use someone's name as a cuss word? Do you ever wonder about that? Um, I have wondered about it, but I think, again, it's just society. You know, normally in society, people like to fit in. So if, some, if that's like the thing of the, the current thing, then that's what people are going to do. People aren't authentic and individualistic enough to stand up for what they really believe in. They just want to go with the mainstream. Carrie, do you think Hollywood is anti-God? No. Not at all? <laughs> no. Do you go to R-rated movies? Yes. Have you noticed they use blasphemy in the movies? Yes. The name of Jesus Christ and God? Why do you think they do that? Why don't they say Mahatma Gandhi or Buddha? Why do they say Jesus Christ? Society. It's just what's typical. What society as a whole uses in general. I believe that they just incorporate that into film and television. So they're just reflecting society? For the most part, yeah. I think they influence society. That too. I think it's a, a vicious circle. So the more they use it, the more people will use it? Probably. Do you think it's wrong to blaspheme God's name? Yes. We should be offended. We should say, Hollywood, no more. I'm not paying you to do this. No, I a, agree. It should change. There's, a, there's 177 million of us in this country that believe we're Christians. If we all said to Hollywood, no more, we'd hit them right where it hurt in the pocket. Millions, even billions of dollars would be withheld, and they'd clean up the movies. So think about it before you go to a movie that uses God's name as a cuss word, if you love God. Okay? Okay. That Thanks for care. talking to me. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Do you go to R-rated movies? Yes, I do. Okay, and you're a Christian? Yeah. How do you feel when they blaspheme the name of Jesus and God? Well, I feel sorry for them, but hopefully they know the difference. But you still go to the movie? Uh, it all depends. I gotta see the previews. So if it's a good movie, then it's okay that they use the name of Jesus in blasphemy? No, it's not okay, but I may see, still see the movie. Yeah. Would you go to a movie where they used your mother's name as a cuss word? No, I don't think so. Would you go to a movie where they use God's name as a cuss word? I don't think so either, although I would have, but I don't think I should have because there's no difference. There's going to be four people. I want you to tell me what they have in common. Okay. James Dean, okay. Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, okay. and John Wayne. What do they have in common? They're all famous people. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I'm guessing. I know most of them are dead. They're all dead? Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> That's what they have in common. Okay. Now, Jessica, what do you think happens after someone dies? Go to heaven. Everybody? 
or hell if you have sin if you've done bad sinned a lot and haven't repent your sins so uh, you believe in the existence of hell for some people yeah um, do you think you'll go to heaven yes why because I haven't committed any crimes or adultery and I go to church regularly and do you think you're a good person yes okay Jessica you said you think you're a good person you'll go to heaven I'm gonna ask some questions and see if you'll get there okay these are probably the most important questions anyone will ever ask you in your okay. whole life have you ever told a lie yes what do you call someone who tells lies a liar you ever stolen something no can I believe you because you just told me you're a liar yes you can believe me okay <laughs> uh, have you ever used God's name in vain yes I heard you use it just before we started the interview um, Jesus said if you look with lust you commit adultery in your heart have you ever looked with lust at another person yes okay listen to this <laughs> Jessica by your own admission you're a liar a blasphemer and an adulterer at heart and you have to face God on judgment day mm -hmm. if God judges you by the Ten Commandments on the day of judgment do you think you'd be innocent or guilty I would say innocent because I could repent my sins through prayer and going to church do you think that'll help you? Do you think that'll save you? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Would you bet your life on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you actually, you actually are. Most people think all I've got to do is say I'm sorry to God and really mean it. But can you imagine a criminal standing in front of a judge? He's committed rape and murder and he says, Judge, I know I'm guilty, but I'm sorry. I won't do it again. The judges say, you should be sorry. You've done wrong. And of course you shouldn't do yeah. it again. He'll, th he'll throw the book at you because you've done wrong. So repentance can't save you. The Bible makes that very clear. So does it concern you that if you die today, you go to hell forever? Because the Bible says all liars live their part in the lake of fire. When you put it in that perspective, yeah. It's pretty scary. Yeah. You know, if you're to die and there's no second chance, there's no purgatory, you die in your sins, God gives you justice. And he's seen your thought life and he gave you a conscience. Yeah. So you're in big trouble. Now, do you know what God did for you so you wouldn't have to go to hell? No. Well, God did something for us so we wouldn't have to go to hell. He sent his son to die on the cross for us. Remember, Jesus died yes. on that cross. Well, when he was on the cross, he took the punishment for the sin of the world, for your sins and my sins. He was being bruised for our iniquities, the Bible says. He was paying our fine in his life's blood so we could leave the courtroom on the day of judgment. And then he rose from the dead and defeated death. And what you and I have got to do is repent and trust in him. It's not enough just to believe, you've got to trust, like you trust an elevator, you don't believe in an elevator, you yeah. put your faith into it, and that's how it can help you, and that's what the death and resurrection of Jesus can do for you. The moment you trust in Him, God will forgive every sin you've ever committed, and give you the gift of everlasting life. Jessica, do you have a Bible at home? Yes. Okay, now if you died today, where would you go? To heaven. Well, Why? Jesus died on the cross for us. Well, only if you repent and trust in him. So are you going to do that? Yes. <laughs> when? Today. Oh, please do. Right now. <laughs> Good, because there's nothing more important than your salvation. Hey, thanks for talking to me. Thank you.